My name is Miguel. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for that. So a little bit about me. I'm a university dropout, first of all. Was raised by a super Christian mum, just me, my mum and my brother. And I only had three options in life. Become doctor, lawyer or accountant. I was terrible at all those things, but I chose law. And that didn't work out for me. What did work out was partying and alcohol. So did that, got really good at that. My tolerance went through the roof and um, got some great life experiences. I think the one super great thing actually is meeting the girlfriend over there. So why I chose Rent to Rent? Well, it was after a really bad day at work. I worked for the, worked for the NHS and I had a bad, bad experience with one of my managers. And after a phone conversation with her, it just didn't go my way. I was like, you know, I've had enough of this. Slammed the phone, called the girlfriend and said, Pavi, meet me outside right now. And she met me outside. <laughs> and then we were literally, I still remember the exact spot where I had the conversation with her. And I looked her dead in the eyes and I said, I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know how, but I'm going to change our situation. Money is not going to be our problem. And no one's going to ever talk to us anywhere they want. We're just going to fix up life. So this is my first property. I'll tell you how I got it as well. I was on the Kickstarter program. And then one of the other Kickstarters, a good friend of mine now named Raha, he, he came across a property in Redbridge. And he, he just messaged, and I, ran, I had my phone in front of me charging at my desk. And then he messaged saying, oh, I've got this deal. Is anyone interested? I just said, yeah, I'll take it. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. And then the rest is history. And you can see that, that was literally the message. I went and found it earlier this week. And yeah, it was a beautiful house, six bedroom HMO, all on suite rooms, done up to a super high spec. So I didn't have to actually invest in anything in the renovation cost or anything like that. Like literally two ovens, two washing machines, two, I don't know, whatever, to everything. It was a beautiful place. Here are the numbers on my first deal. So as you can see, a beautiful thing about property and a beautiful thing about rent to rent is that you've already agreed that guaranteed rent to the landlord, but your profit goes up as in line with you raising the rents with the tenants. This was actually one of my proudest moments. I hadn't, this is the landlord for that property. I hadn't spoken to him at one point for about, I want to say it was like six months. And I'm wondering, are things okay? And then I gave him a call and I said, Seed, are you still alive? You all right? And he goes, yeah, I'm just in Turkey with a family. He was living good. And he left me this review and I want to read it out. But he basically said, you've been very hands-on with it. I've noticed that since you've been in charge, there's been no complaints about people not paying or rent being late. I generally think you've done an amazing job and I couldn't have chosen anyone better. better. So I look forward to our five-year review. It couldn't have happened at a better time. I've taken on a more demanding role. I've gotten married and now I'm looking at more HMO investment opportunities. So that was really touching to me. All you have to do is answer that question for yourself. What's it going to take for me to be that person in the future?